father to father, a desperate plea to Muammar Gaddafi tonight, please let my daughter go. A freelance reporter for USA Today is now in her 11th day in Libyan government custody. Her editor in Virginia says she was just doing her job. Bruce Lashan has been talking to Claire Morgana Gillis' father and her editor. And Bruce, do we know how she's doing right now? Now, you know what, Leslie, that is one of the most troubling things here. Everything we know about Claire Gillis' situation is coming second and third third hand. A historian who had just received her doctorate from Harvard, Claire Morgana Gillis suddenly decided to try journalism, heading first to Egypt and then to Libya, filing intense personal accounts for USA Today and The Atlantic magazine. On this shifting front line near the oil port of Brega, Gillis, a Spanish photographer, and the Global Post James Foley were captured by Libyan government forces. A reporter doing her job, nothing more, and uh, she shouldn't be detained for something like that. But for a week and a half now, she has been held. A detained Al Jazeera journalist saw her in custody in Tripoli, in good shape, but for a black eye. But that was days ago, and her father says the family has heard nothing since. And we are quite concerned about this because uh, we just don't know anything right now. At USA Today's headquarters in Tyson's, her editor says the paper is working through intermediaries, trying to get Gillis and her colleagues released or at least get a doctor in to see them. Uh, we have an obligation to do everything that we can to get her out. Gillis's father says he has a simple plea for Libya's leader. We'll release these folks back to their families. The White House, the State Department say that they are aware and concerned about the detention of the journalists and that they are trying to get them released. But at this point, there is no American diplomat in Tripoli who can argue their case. Leslie. All right, Bruce, got to just hope for the best. Thank yeah. you for that. USA Today and this station, WUSA 9, are both owned by the Gannett Corporation.